Hey guys, it's Flo here, and today I wanted to do a short video showing you guys how I overcame the obstacle that I'm sure many of us have faced whilst creating a 2D game, and that is moving platforms. Now I'm no expert at game development, but I found this solution quite easy to implement and understand, as there are many different ways to do this. So to start off, um, I'm going to be creating my platform in a base level. Um, as you can see here, you've got a, a player, you've got a ground level layer that he walks around on, so from there. Um, you've also got the background layer and you've got some hazards as well, which if I show you very quickly, anytime he falls into the water, he dies and the game resets. So that's a nice little game loop going on there. So to show you guys how I did this, I'm going to be using a prefab I made earlier, um, very Blue Peter style -y. Um, and that's this moving platform here. Um, so I'm just going to take you through the elements inside the prefab itself. So you always get the transform. Up. It's got a sprite renderer, which is a component you add to actually give it something. Give it this sprite down here so it actually looks like something. Um, you know, and, and that fits in with the theme of the game. Next, I added two different box colliders, um, which I'll get into uh, in a little bit. But there's one that is a trigger and one that isn't a trigger. Um, and there's also a script and an animator on there. I'm going to remove the animator for now. We won't worry about that. Um, and we're going to drag and drop that into the scene, just like so. So to begin with, you want to kind of line up your um, platform with where you're going to want it to roughly start at. Um, and first, I'm going to show you a very simple way to animate the platform, and that's using Unity's built-in animator. So to do that, you want to make sure you're clicked on the moving platform that we've added into the scene there. You're going to go down to Add Component, and we're going to add an animator, just like so. And that's going to be sitting just down here. So next, you're going to open up the Animator tab just in here, and you're going to click Create an Animation. Um, and you're going to go into wherever your assets are, however you've laid it out, into animations, and you're going to create a new animation, and I'm going to call this Moving Platform 3, 4. I've got quite a few animations in there under the same name. So Moving Platform 3, 4, and we hit Save. So this is going to come up with the little timeline just here. If I scroll up, these are all in seconds. So 1 second, 2 second, 3 second. And we're going to be using keyframe animations. So to start with, we're going to hit this little red button here, and that's going to enable keyframe recording. And that's going to make our first keyframe, which is set at the beginning of the timeline just there. You can see that kind of light white line. Hit record, and I like to just nudge it back slightly, and that's going to set the first keyframe. Next, you're going to go along to about two seconds in, just there, and you're going to move the platform however long you want it to go just like that. And that's created a very simple one direction of movement, just like that. However, we want it to move back and forth. So to do this, we're going to take the first keyframe, we're going to hit Control C, we're going to scroll out. So first of all, we did it to two seconds, now we're going to bring it out to four seconds, so it's a nice smooth animation, just about there. And we're going to hit Control V. And just like that, we have created a very simple back and forth moving platform. So we go back to the project there. Control S to save that one. And now we're going to have a look at actually, um, if I turn these off, just here. Right. So that's the box collider. I'll get into that in a minute. But what we've got essentially to begin with is a platform that moves back and forth. We can jump on top of it, but as soon as we get onto it, it moves and we stay still. Um, so to fix that issue, we just get back into moving platform. So to fix that issue, we're going to need two box colliders. So as you saw, the first one, which is this one here, just allows the player to jump onto the platform. Second box collider, which is this one up here, lives just above the platform. Okay, and this is a trigger. Now, to get the character to actually stick to the platform, you have to create a script. And for this, we've got a script called Move the Platform. 
which I will show you what the script looks like just here. So very basic um, script that basically says when the player enters that collider, it becomes a child of the moving platform. So in the hierarchy, you have the player here and the moving platform there, and they're both parent objects. However, when the player enters this collider here, the script is going to say, okay, the player now becomes part of the platform. And this allows it to actually stick to the platform, essentially. Second part of the script is, um, and that's what this does here, sorry, the player transform parent equals transform. So that turns it into being parented by the, um, the moving platform. And the second part of the script is on trigger exit. So when it leaves the collider, the game object, which is player um, transform parent is null. So that means that it doesn't happen. So it's no longer, so it removes itself. So it becomes um, a child no more. It grows up and becomes a, a parent. Um, and that script lives down here. So as you notice, there's a game object thing called player. At the moment, there's nothing inside it. So if we were to, um, even though we've got the script there, if we were to run the game, and we'll just wait for the platform to come back, it hasn't done anything. And the reason why is we haven't assigned the player to the moving platform. So to do this, we just click on our moving platform. We drag and drop the player element just into there. So now the player is part of the moving platform when it um, enters that collider just at the top there. So when the platform comes back, we can jump onto the platform and hey, we don't move. Well, we did just then because of the uh, physics engine there, but Right, now we've done that, we can jump onto the platform. However, we can't actually jump. So we can jump there, but when we're on the platform, we can't jump. So to fix that issue, an easy solution I came up with um, that hasn't created any issues at the moment, um, although there's a probably more efficient way to action this, is just to change the layer up here to ground. So ground is the layer that is attached to the foreground layer. So I'm not gonna go into layers too much in this video. Um, although I do think a bit of exploration of my player scripts um, will show how it interacts with different layers and probably make a more safer solution. But this was a little trick I worked out for myself and I was pretty proud of it, so it will do for now. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you a quick demo that we can hit play. Character can jump onto the platform, jump off and die. Quite simple as that. So I hope this has helped um, those looking for, in my opinion, the simplest solution to what appears to be quite a common issue um, with moving platforms. So if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel um, as this will only help it grow and maybe comment your solution or any tips below. Thanks for watching and if you're interested in some of my live stuff then give my Twitch channel a follow, twitch.tv forward slash flow the dev, where I stream some of my development as well as some games too. And thanks again for watching. Have a great day.